Loads of companies are starting to wonder, how should I do online video? It's not enough to just say, we're going to go and do video, because it begs the question, what kind of content should we create? And so today, I just want to talk through a number of the different kinds of styles of video that you should be making as a business and explain what kind of uh, style that content looks like, where it should be hosted, and all that kind of thing. So I want to start with just um, things that you can go and make in-house. If you can go and purchase a camera, a set of lights, um, and a microphone like this one here, um, then you can go and create all these different things and it won't cost you too much money. You just need a little bit of editing skill. And uh, if you need to hire in some um, freelance talent to do that, then that's absolutely fine. And the first one of these is product videos. And what I've been talking about here is really videos that are going to help um, improve conversions on a specific page. Videos designed to maybe help you uh, take a customer from that point of initial interest saying, um, you know, am I going to buy this product to definitely knowing that it's the right thing that they want to buy and pressing that add to cart button. So what do these look like? Well, I think they look a little bit like this. Have a look at this Roger Mosbot toy. It comes in a really, really nicely branded box. It's fully opposable arms and actually it will help find all the links on the web so you can work out who's linking to you. With product videos, it's incredibly important to make sure that you host uh, them securely on your own site and you do not put them on places like YouTube and Vimeo. That's because they're not really relevant for an audience on YouTube or Vimeo or any of those social platforms. They should be really secured to your page using a, a, a hosting solution like Wistia, for example, that uh, Moz use, which you can make sure the video is only on your site and then customers searching in the Google search results will find the version of the video on your, on your site rather than the version on, vi on um, YouTube where it's very, very hard for them then to go back to your site and convert. Um, so make sure you're self-hosting those videos. Then the next kind of content you can do is tutorials and how-tos. The value of these videos is that they can be incredibly useful to uh, build up your brand with an audience on YouTube. So I'm going to explain exactly the kind of style that you should be creating that's uh, not too heavily branded, very informational, and not focused on selling, like this. To pretend to be Rand Fishkin, start with a plaid shirt, and then you need some glasses. After that, it's about waving your arms around lots and just change your voice slightly, like this. Howdy, everybody! Welcome, Mars fans. It's great to be here. You can also do a lot of thought leadership content. Thought leadership content can get you um, links. It can get you a great presence on YouTube, help you build your brand as well, and uh, demonstrate that you're really an expert in whatever field it is you work in. What do thought leadership videos look like? Well, exactly like this kind of thing here, right? Whiteboard Friday. Howdy, Mars fans, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Today, I'm wearing flannel, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite inbound marketing strategies, and that is buying links. And then there's video news releases that you can do as well. Um, a video news release is a video that you will send out with a normal press release. And the real value of these is that they will help you get to the top of an editor's pile at a newspaper or a website, wherever, um, get to the top of the pile much, much better than just a normal standard text release. So how do you create those? Well, actually, they're very, very similar in style to thought leadership videos. It's just that you need to be much more product focused and uh, concentrate on that hook and why this specific news in question is exciting. Like this. Breaking news from Moz HQ. We're rebranding Moz to Zao. If you work for a company with a bit more budget, then you can go and create content uh, that's on this list here. It's normally best to go and hire a, a video production company to do this stuff rather than uh, doing it in-house because the quality will really, really matter for the success of what this content looks like. Um, so the first one is creative stories. And really what I mean by creative stories is what's often referred to as like viral video or stuff that you're going to put on social platforms like YouTube and Vimeo uh, to help build your brand and uh, help more eye eyeballs understand you and get to know more about your business. What do they look like? Well, it's this kind of thing. Terrorista. 
You can also create link bait. Now, link bait is not really the same as this viral creative video um, because it's much more focused on providing a specific value to a group of people, a specific audience, who are then going to link back to you um, in a relevant niche. So I think this content looks a little bit more normally like this. And lastly, if you've got a good budget, I recommend everybody goes out and creates ads. But not ads like TV ads, um, actually ads that are going to be useful on YouTube. And really, I think that those have to be ads advertising softer things, not just demanding sales. So what I really like to do is advertise content. If you've got a great blog or you've got a good email list, why not create an advert and uh, target people on YouTube and tell them why they should come and uh, explore your content and learn more about your business and uh, start to engage with all those inbound marketing channels that you're um, creating content for. So what does this look like? Well, I think it's this kind of thing. Howdy, everybody. Come and check out the Moz blog. We have loads and loads of free content marketing and inbound stuff and real company shit. And oh, it's amazing. And lastly, if you have absolutely no budget at all, then uh, I recommend having a play with Vine. There's going to be great rewards for the kind of companies that um, work out how to do something exciting with Vine and Instagram video. Uh, we don't know which one's going to be more dominant yet. So I recommend you have a play and do some really cool stuff and see what you can come up with. A bit like this. And you can also do Google Plus Hangout on Air. All you need to do Google Plus Hangout on Air is have a laptop with a webcam and a microphone. I'm sure everybody has one of these. Um, and this is a great way to actually build your brand through doing some nice thought leadership kind of content very, very, very cheaply. Thank you very much. I hope you found that useful.